grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We read in the Heidelberg Catechism, 33rd question. Why is Jesus called God's only begotten son? When we also are God's children. Answer, because Christ alone is eternal, natural, son of God. We, however, are adopted children of God, adopted by grace through Christ. Question 34, why do we call Jesus our Lord? Answer, because not with gold or silver, but with his precious blood, he has set us free from sin and the tyranny of the devil and has bought us body and soul to be his very own. As I write this, we are in the midst of our Christmas celebrations. I hope that you and your family are having a wonderful Christmas this year. Merry Christmas to you all. And I hope you have a very happy new year. Christmas is when we remember that God's son came to earth as a baby. And the baby born that night had a mother named Mary. He also had a father, but it wasn't Joseph. Jesus's father was the Holy Spirit. And that makes Jesus the one and only Son of God. We who believe are also children of God. We are adopted into the family by God's grace through Jesus Christ. We read in the book of Ephesians, the first chapter beginning in the fourth verse. For God chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. In love, he predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ in accordance with his pleasure and will. To the praise of his glorious grace which he has freely given us in the one he loves. So we can celebrate both Jesus's birth and our adoption as God's children at Christmas. We call Jesus Lord. Our English word Lord comes from the old English, halaf. Ward, or Loaf Warden. This title was given to the family member who had the responsibility to protect the home and put loaves of bread on the table for the family to eat. Lord, Loaf Warden became the title of the nobility who were responsible for protecting the community and ensuring that everyone had loaves of bread to eat. When the translators took the Hebrew word Adonai and the Greek word kurios, they translated them into the English word Lord, loaf, warden. The Lord protects us from harm and blesses us with food to eat. And the good news of Christmas is the gospel message. We read in Romans 10, 9, if you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And so at Christmas, we celebrate the coming to earth of our Lord, our loaf warden, 
Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for coming to us at Christmas. We thank you for adopting us as children. We thank you for protecting us and giving us food to eat. And so we confess with our lips that you are Lord. 